For this part of the uh, process, I wanted to show you how I'm doing this. I'm actually just doing a, a dry brush over the top of the um, original paint I painted on here. So this is uh, chalk paint. And then I'm going over it with another chalk paint, but I'm using an old chip brush and I barely have any paint on here. And what I'm doing to get this um, kind of a weathered, distressed look is just basically running this on the dresser that I'm doing in long strokes. So I want some heavy areas and some light areas, but you barely want any paint on there. You're just going to brush it on there lightly and then you can go a little heavier in some spots if, if you want. Less is always more because you can always add more paint, but it's kind of hard to take it off. So see what I'm doing? I'm just taking this and just basically dry brushing that on top. So I might want to do some heavier areas, so I'm going to go back over this area. And you can go on the side too of your brush. And this is the chalk paint that I make. It's a lot less expensive than buying it at retail. So what I did first was I painted the um, dresser in this pretty brown color. Let that dry. I did two coats of that. And now I'm going to do one coat of this. And then I'll go back over it with some sandpaper and just kind of rough it up a little bit more. So see how I get some areas here that are a little bit heavier? So you, want, you don't want it to be, you want it to be messy. You don't want it to be even. Just going to take it and put it on there. So see how I got that nice area there? Let's see, I don't think you see that. I'll go back in here and do some. So I wanted to show you this because it's kind of hard to explain if I'm just, you know, putting it in the blog and trying to tell you. It's easier for you to see what I'm doing. See, I'm just taking my paint that's in this cup. I'm dipping it in just very ever so lightly, then taking it off. And then I'm just going to brush it on. And this, goes, this is really nice if you want to do a weathered look. You can actually layer your color. You can put a little bit of a gray in here if you want. This one I'm not. Because what I'm doing with this, I'll show you in the uh, blog, is I'm trying to match it up to another piece of furniture they have in the room. So I'm trying to get it, not identical, but you know, close to it. See? Very simple. So I'll just stress that a little bit with some sandpaper. Then I'm going to go back over it um, at the end with some wax to put a coat on there and to bump up this white, so it's a linen white that I'm using, and I'll bump it up to um, with an umber wax. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Long strokes. You can drag it out. Very simple. So I wanted to show you that. The rest of it I'll have just in the blog explaining what I'm doing. Isn't that pretty? A lot of fun. All right, so, so I see you in the next step.